What's up, YouTube? Straight Jackie here. I uh, wanted to pull some stuff out here, my collection of uh, 2879s, and then kind of share an interesting story. So I went to buy a guy out, a um, guy I used to talk to years ago on the radio and really enjoyed talking to. And uh, I paid a pretty good sum for the equipment that I got, don't get me wrong. But uh, I did get a bonus that I was not expecting, and that's always a positive. So he had these two 2879 Toshiba stuffed in a little drawer. And I should have seen this, but there were like five different containers of parts. Um, but they were stuffed in there, brand new. He had gain checked them in the 70s, but they were they were tested with legitimate equipment from uh, RF parts at 115. And uh, that's a, a new one I've had. Um, these six were pulled out of a good working six pill. And then these four all have good gain and are tested and working. They are used, but they uh, they all tested, I think, in the 40s, if I remember correctly. So, you know, I've had a, I guess you could say enough um, 2879s. Those two test ridiculously high gain. I have no idea what's going on with those. But they're, they're like used at like a hundred <laughs> on a uh, atlas. But you know, I had probably what thirteen Toshiba's laying around. And then I grabbed these two new ones. And then what I didn't see was this drawer slap full of Toshiba's, <laughs> and every one of them's been tested. You know, they have some number written on the top, but that number does not seem to correlate at all to anything meaningful. When you put it on the tester, sometimes that 16 like this on the top is accurate. 17. Some of these are in the 30s and 40s. 34. Every one of them is good though. And um, yeah, every one of them tests well. And you know, these old uh, cursive ones, I had found the amp boards that these come out of in the old ham radios, but I had never found the actual pills. I was like, I wonder what he did with them, you know, when I bought it out. Because I remember he had them, but then I found this tray because he had like, you know, seven or eight of these and they were all taped up and uh, I had gone through some of them, but I must, must have missed this one that was obviously labeled what it is, but it, they were just, you know, three, three or four hundred drawers to go through. So here I am, you know, six weeks later. And uh, I finally found where the where the cursive ones coming out of the Yezus came from, or where they went rather. But I've got a stack of Toshibas, and uh, yeah, I'll probably think about selling some of them. For sure, I'm going to try to sell these for two hundred or something, given that they're new. Um, you know, one hundred each. Probably take a hundred on that one too. But these used ones, I'll probably take you know seventy. I was doing 60, but everybody keeps saying they're worth 100 or better, so we'll see what happens at 70, and then we can prove folks wrong if they don't sell. But uh, I do need to keep a few because I've got a an amp or two that I'd like to put put back a few in case something ever went wrong. But I, I don't need all these, and somebody else may have an amp that needs one pill to get going. So, yeah, here we go now. I think there's... What, 18 in there, and then there was 20. So there were 20 pills that I didn't know about. And then, yeah, here we are. Also, a couple of 2290s, I think maybe two brand new ones and two or three used ones. Nowhere near as many as uh, the Toshiba's, but... I felt like that was a bit of a gold mine right there. <laughs> I wish I had about a, you know, <laughs> a couple pounds worth of, of those. Uh, be like having a couple pounds of gold or something. But, uh, well, not really. Gold is outrageous. But you get my point. They are uh, quite desirable. And they're still the superior pill in a lot of ways. 
I like the HGs. I've got a stack of, I've got drawers of them, standards and, let's see, and C's. Some of the C's from the 22 year as well. And I like them. Don't get me wrong. They do similar power, but these are definitely the cleaner of the options. And uh, in a lot of ways, they're definitely a lot more durable than the standard 2879HG. And on top of that, they're also substantially more stable and um, flexible. You can mix and match them. You know, I could put this 16 in with a 24 and it would work just fine. You know, Would, wouldn't care. Probably do the same output. In fact, in many cases, I've put Toshiba pills with a gain of like 10 in an amplifier and it rock and rolled, you know. Um, just because that's what I had available. Some of these are, the lids have been put in a greasy area, but they are legitimate. But anyways, I'm going to be selling some of these. If you're interested, skeletonamps at gmail.com. I'm, uh, like I said, I'm going to keep maybe four or so. I've got a friend with a 32 pill. I want to keep some back. I did also find these, by the way. He did also store all his bad ones, and he put a B on the bottom. Now, some of them look so good, but... Wah, wah, wah. But all these uh, test well, and I'll test them on an atlas before they go out again, just to be sure. But um, they, every one of them has the game number written on the bottom for that's already been done. Thanks for tuning in. If, yeah, if you're interested, skeletonamps at gmail.com. Boy, I was excited when I saw that. <laughs> 73s.